Notice. The people appearing in the video are for illustrative purposes only, they may not be real doctors or patients. Thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often misunderstood separation anxiety disorder, or SAD. Whether you're a parent, an adult experiencing anxiety, or just someone interested in mental health, this video is for you. Let's unravel the mystery of SAD together. Separation Anxiety Disorder SAD, is a complex and multifaceted psychological condition that manifests primarily in children, but can also affect adults. This disorder goes beyond the normal apprehension experienced during brief departures from loved ones, evolving into a more severe and persistent form of distress. To understand SAD in depth, it is essential to explore its definition, symptoms, causes, impacts, and treatment options. Definition and Epidemiology Separation anxiety disorder is characterized by excessive and developmentally inappropriate anxiety concerning separation from those whom an individual is emotionally attached. It is not just a childhood phase but a recognized psychological condition. While SAD is most commonly associated with children, its occurrence in adults is gaining more recognition. Symptoms SAD can present a range of symptoms, which may vary based on age and individual factors. In children, symptoms might include Intense distress when anticipating or experiencing separation from home or major attachment figures. Persistent and excessive worry about losing attachment figures or about possible harm coming to them. Reluctance or refusal to go out, away from home, to school, or elsewhere because of fear of separation. Fear of being alone or without major attachment figures at home or in other settings. Reluctance or refusal to sleep away from home without being near a major attachment figure. Repeated nightmares about separation. Physical symptoms such as headaches, stomach aches, nausea, or vomiting when separation from major attachment figures is anticipated. In adults, SAD may manifest as Extreme distress when separated from a spouse or children. Excessive worry about the safety of attachment figures. Difficulty being away from home or loved ones. Persistent and excessive worry about facing an event that causes separation from a major attachment figure. Causes and risk factors. The exact cause of SAD is unknown, but a combination of genetic, environmental, and developmental factors is thought to play a role. These may include Genetic predisposition. There may be a hereditary aspect, as SAD tends to occur more frequently in families where anxiety disorders are present. Environmental factors. Life stressors such as changes in environment, school, or routine can trigger SAD. Traumatic events or losses can also be a contributing factor. Attachment issues. Children who have insecure attachments with their caregivers may be more prone to developing SAD. Temperament. Children with a naturally anxious temperament are at a higher risk. Overprotective parenting. Sometimes, an overprotective or overly anxious parenting style can contribute to the development of separation anxiety in children. Impact on daily life. SAD can significantly impact the quality of life for both the individual and their family. For children, it can lead to school refusal, social withdrawal, and academic struggles. For adults, it may affect their work, social life, and overall mental well-being. SAD can also lead to other anxiety disorders, depression, and impact the development of healthy relationships. Treatment Options Treatment of SAD typically involves a combination of psychotherapy and, in some cases, medication. The goal of treatment is to reduce symptoms by addressing the root of the anxiety and developing coping mechanisms. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT. CBT is a common treatment approach that helps individuals understand and change their thought patterns and behaviors. Family Therapy Especially for children, involving the family in therapy can be beneficial. Medication In some cases, particularly when symptoms are severe, medications such as SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, may be prescribed. School-based interventions. For children, coordinated efforts between parents, healthcare providers, and schools can be effective. Strategies for parents and caregivers. Parents and caregivers play a crucial role in managing SAD. Strategies include providing a consistent and predictable environment, gradually exposing the child to separation in a controlled and supportive manner, Encouraging independence and self-confidence. Avoiding overly protective behaviors that reinforce anxiety. Adult separation anxiety. 
Adults with SAD may experience significant distress in their personal and professional lives. Treatment for adults often focuses on addressing the underlying causes of anxiety, improving coping mechanisms, and fostering independence. Conclusion Separation anxiety disorder is a serious condition that requires careful attention and treatment. Its impact on children and adults can be profound, but with proper intervention, individuals with SAD can learn to manage their symptoms effectively. It is crucial for society to understand the complexity of this disorder, recognize its symptoms, and support those affected by it. By doing so, we can help individuals lead more fulfilling and anxiety-free lives. In summary, SAD is a disorder that can deeply affect individuals and families, but with the right approach, it is manageable. Awareness, early intervention, and supportive care are key to helping those with SAD navigate their challenges and lead healthier, happier lives. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos.